Well, it's New Year's Eve. It's not too cold today. I'm taking advantage of the day off and the not too bad weather to try and hook up this uh, air control on my uh, to the radiator. So, got this temporarily set in here. There's a there's a vernier control down below cable. I don't know if you can see it. And it's linked up to this. So my uh, my setup is the same as a throttle. When you're at full throttle or high power, the old air aviation phrase of balls to the wall will apply. So I'll be pushing this throttle, the throttle linkage forward for power, and I'll be pushing this forward. So the normal position of this will be down. I've got that temporarily in place, and it looks like it's working pretty good, but that's me moving the whole lever. Another thing is I notice it's not going quite to the bottom. But some of that is my fasteners in here, not, nothing is quite right. You can see the bottom of the Clico stick out, and there are other things in there I've got to deal with. Um, but it's very close. The action works quite well. You see, it doesn't cover the radiator completely, but it's going to cover enough of the airstream that uh, it's going to have a dramatic effect on temperature. So my next job in this uh, in this sequence is to get a clamp around. Yeah, so that's uh, that's where I need to clamp it. So what I've done is I've made a uh, I've made a clamp like this that it will go through here. And it locks around the uh, it locks around the cable. <coughs> trying to look at get some light. It's kind of dark in here today. It's cloudy day. The cable itself gets locked in place by the two little lips. Uh, I lock it in place like that. So these two uh, these two edges here go around that, so they can't move back and forth. So I gotta just make sure that this is down where I want it. This is the throttle control on the left. And this will be the temperature control on the right. And you can see that I don't have it quite all the way to the front. There's a little bit of motion there left. So that's uh I wanna make sure I've got all the tension I can get to keep that thing down and forward. The least thing the last thing I want to be I want to do is for summer operations to have that thing interfere with the maximum amount of airflow. Well, it's January 1st, 2021. Hallelujah. Goodbye, 2020. It's a dull day, mostly cloudy, which is actually good for flying. I like it. No sun in the eyes. So, hopefully, the lighting's a little bit better. I got the doors open. So, here's the new uh, air control plate that I put in my. Uh, Radiator air intake plenum. So we've got the we've got the control fully forward and it's all the way down. That coincides with the mechanism being all the way to the front. So let's pull it back. And then we'll have another look. So that's what it looks like when it's all the way back. Now I don't know that I'll ever take it that far back, but the other day, yesterday I had to trim it because it was hitting here, but now you can see I can I can put my fingers in there and I've got some clearance. So it should block enough uh, it should block enough air to make this thing work pretty good. So we'll uh, take a video of it uh, in motion.
also noticed is that the, uh, because I've got, I've got the air thing down and then it comes up to cut the air off, there's a tremendous amount of pressure on it, which I had a feeling could happen, but it wasn't clear. The EMF is not a huge flap, I thought maybe it wouldn't be a big deal, but it is a big deal, there's a lot of pressure. As soon as I release that, uh, when I release this thing here at all, it just wants to snap right back. If I can push it forward, I thought this was off the back. So what I gotta do is, the 1,400, I gotta use it, I gotta keep it in, uh, in, in, uh, Burnier mode. Pumps. <laughs> 